Organizations need to have their members constantly communicating with each other for work to get done. One way organizations ensure that communication is conducted properly is to set up different channels for different types of communication. We call this a communication network. A communication network is an identifiable pattern of communication between, within and between organizations, where they're using formal and informal channels. This network allows organizations to communicate with each other better and form more reliable lines of communication. However, employees will sometimes set up informal communication channels. This is a communication method that is not directly sanctioned by the organization, but is instead developed by typical and customary activities of the people at work. Organizations have many layers of management, which each have their separate roles and responsibilities. Communication to direct certain levels of management is key in, in order for permission to flow in a timely manner. Organizations are generally comprised of three types of communication, downward, upward, and lateral le communication levels. The, even the best organizations can suffer from improper communications or be burdened by communication barriers. Communication barriers can exist between people that endure an organization's ability to communicate. They, call, are, they are called impersonal barriers or barriers that affect communication between individuals or groups. Organizations must work to prevent these communication barriers by identifying them early and understanding why they are, and could be happening. All right, guys, get the f in here. Welcome to challenge one, guys. This is the misunderstanding challenge. This one's going to highlight some of the communication barriers you guys are going to face in the field. Step one, person A is going to be given an object to describe to person B. Then, step two, person B must draw the object based on the description that person A gave. The winner will be selected by the most accurate drawing. Bernard and Sean, Team BS. All right, here's your object. Got 30 seconds. Describe it. All right, it's... It... Any day now. It... it no, I think... It... Come on, I'm getting older. Got 15 it's seconds. A it's a thing, and it, like... It, it, it does things. It, it, like, straightens things. Five seconds. It, it's long. Three. Two, one, time! Liam and Kyle, your turn. Here's your object. Go. Okay, so it's, uh, it's round. Um, very flat on both sides. We, uh, it sounds like it has something in it. Uh, like little small like, pebbles almost like. Maybe it might be gum, but I don't know. Just a little something, little something in there. Feels like there's some like pieces of tape coming off from the uh, the, the side. Time. All right, Bernard, we're giving you another shot. With Alina, here's your object. Describe it to her. You've got thirty seconds. All right, it is something goes in your hair. Pointy, pointy tips. Metal. Got 15 seconds. It's used to straighten out your hair when you pick it. Five seconds. <laughs> Three, two, one, oh and time. All right, let's see the objects. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations, Elena and Bernard, for winning the challenge. Good job. Sean, you clearly faced some communication barriers in the challenge, didn't you, buddy?